Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again tonight. One last video on making a custom Annex Core spin. We've got this running on our live USB, so you got a couple options. We can install it, uh, but you'll notice that there's, unlike our usual system, there's no Annex installer on the menu, and I don't believe it's in this menu either. It is not. So what we're going to do, the command to to run this is minstall. Uh, it kind of short for the old Mepis installer. So we'll just run um, um, install. Uh, actually, we're, we need to run sudo minstall. I don't know if I can do this from the from the KDE window. Apparently, I can. So sudo minstall, and we can do next. And I'm going to uh, auto install using the entire disk. I've got a 20 gig disk sitting here that I'm going to use. Okay to format the disk? Yes. Ah, yes, this virtual box is installing uh, legacy because it's not set up for UFI, but it will work if I have if I boot on a UFI machine. It will boot. It will uh, in install ESP as well uh, if if need be. Next, I don't need computer names and such. I don't have the Sama server installed, so that's okay. My time zones are all correct. My default username. Da -da. Da, 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 da. Still got to have a root account. Now, the one thing that's not going to work real well is auto login because auto login is set up to work with either LightDM or Slim login managers. Now, in the case of of Slim, if you install Slim, uh, you may need to adjust the startup. Um, there's a there's a file in the Slim.com file that you would need to adjust so that the uh, X system will actually work. But if you're if you're not installing Slim, Slim, you don't have to worry about it. Um, the auto login just won't work. Everything else is fine, and you'll just log in just like we've been doing in the past. And that's it. The copy is going to go through. We'll finish up and reboot into the installed system. Okay, there we are. It's complete. We're going to reboot and see if our installed system comes up the way it should. Ah, I forgot to take the USB stick out. Let's close this virtual box machine. And I'm going to remove the disk from the drive. All right, there's the Annex Grub. That's a, a good sign. And now we're not running off the USB, now we're running off of the, the VirtualBox machine and the installed system. There's our login user. Our username's there. And here comes our new KDE desktop. Now you'll notice now that our customizations that we saved in Remaster were preserved. That is because we made a small change into the way uh, the installer takes uses the demo the demo home folder on the basic original release ISO. The demo account does not exist inside that inside that root file system uh, inside that Linux FS file the default read-only file system that, that is provided out of the box. When you do the remaster, remember we saved that demo home folder into the remaster so now it is present now when the installer finds that demo home folder and only demo does not go do it for regular users it will still install the regular user but you won't be presented um, the user creation screen uh, now it'll let you change it and you'll get the new defaults from demo so it's kind of a little nicety there for those of you that like making spins if you do a remaster and save slash home it'll it'll uh, It'll pick it up. Same will have almost true if you're a snapshot user. If you save home into the snapshot, uh, that should be carried over. As if your user on your snapshot is called demo, it should carry over onto future installs. That's it for my Annex Core uh, uh, build system build up. Uh, feel free to go to town, install whatever browsers and office suites and audio players and whatever else you want to install. 
For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org or annexlinux.com. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.